how you set up, how you move, and how you have attention to your detail and what I ask you to do next will dictate whether we're successful with the training day. Great! One word to describe Doug is precise. I think he's creative. He's a person that strives for perfection. He tries to pull out the best in you. Ten, go! I am not an easily pressed human being. I think excellence should be the norm and not the freaking exception. Execute, execute! If he gives a cue, the athlete's gonna do it because he's gonna figure out a way for them to understand. There was a lot of similarities with what Doug is doing in the CrossFit world to what I am doing in the endurance world. Chest up, come on! I've been training with Doug for about over five years now. It's been really cool to develop with him. As an athlete, I've developed and he's developed his programming every year. Yeah, it has definitely been working. There it is, Julie Fouché, overall your leader at the CrossFit Games right now. I have about 40, 45 blocks of training, and each camp has different content to it. Warm-up skills, barbell skills, some gymnastic skills. So 14 blocks of training. Let's call it an hour and a half, maybe two hours of total lecturing time. That's 12 hours of moving. I am exhausted. <laughs> Everything is blocked. Everything is 45 minutes to 50 minutes, 10 minute break. All day, every day, you're not exhausted from doing one thing, and you get to move all day long. You get lots of doses of intensity, but it's also a lot of instruction and a lot of insight into why he does what he does. What I'm trying to teach you guys is where the vector is to go north. And then when you go back to your gym, you have a better idea and understanding for implementing everything. I mean, a lot of the affiliate owners who come here, they learn how to structure classes with 45 people like we did today. You know, that's a skill set in itself. Good arm movement. I'm trying to focus on what's between the ears, the mental aspect. When my body's tired, how am I going to push through it? What mindset am I going to take? You have to want to do the work. You have to want to be better. And how do you adapt? How am I going to approach each and every workout? And it all starts up here, and he really, really attacks that. Ladies and gents, how you talk to yourself during training is going to determine a lot of your results. This is tough. I am tougher. Each rep I get, I am better. Each workout I do, I am closer to doing and accomplishing what I want. That personality of the camp is what it's about. Just like when you go from your box to the games, you have to be able to adapt to different environments and different elements. Quick, 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 quick. Proper preparation prevents a poor performance. You want to know something? That's exactly what he does. He prepares us to perform at the best that we can. My coaching, is centered around getting other people better, and that's really what my mission is. Nods on that? Most of the coaches that are in the CrossFit community are really athletes, and Doug's a coach. Doug is not biased in one particular direction or another, not a particular strength or a weakness. He is a coach in trying to improve overall fitness for the everyday athlete. By bringing all these people in and associating with them, that's how I get better. How many people are here to move better, coach better, have a damn fun time. Congratulations. I thought this training camp would be like for, you know, an elite athlete, so I was a little bit nervous to come, but um, I came and I'm glad I did. It doesn't matter what level you are. I mean, when people do CrossFit, everyone's in here for the same thing. Everyone wants to get better. It's blood, sweat, and tears no matter where you look at it, no matter where you're at on the floor. If you want to be better, you got to learn from people who are better than you. Everyone started somewhere. You know, I started CrossFit after I had my second baby, and I wasn't even doing it because I could compete. I was doing CrossFit because I loved CrossFit. I know that if my material does not cater to everyone, then Doug is going to have issue with that. And it's not just for the Uber athlete. In fact, it's more catered towards getting just the average Joe better. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you go hard at this, you may end up having a life that resembles a light beer commercial. You will be special and unique snowflakes. 